So greetings everyone. My name is Akshay Tarora. I'm a student of PGDM IB International Business of Bimtech. So today we have with us here Mr. Akshay Rakshit, who is currently uh, the HR BP at BMW Group India. He has a prominent experience with most of the automat automotive sector in BMW, uh, Honda, and Maruti Suzuki. So on behalf of all the students at Bimtech, I'll be asking him a few questions. Okay. So the first question that I would like to ask you is that. Given your past experiences in uh, Honda, Maruti Suzuki, and currently you're working in BMW, so how do you see the automotive sector is uh, kind of evolving in the next five years? Uh, the entire automobile uh, space uh, since uh, pre-COVID, uh, I would say 2019 and 2018, are more focused into uh, uh, the emissions and and the norms which are uh, coming from government directly so a lot of focus is there on uh, our battery electric vehicles and uh, in future maybe hydrogen cars uh, as per the government's uh, guidance but uh, right now post covid a lot of uh, industry are focusing on their uh, foundation for battery electric vehicles uh, which we see right now in bmw as well we have around six seven uh, high vehicles uh, in, in our fleet and uh, in luxury segment we are the best in, in among the other two if we compare and if we follow the mass manufacturers as well you see a lot of change in terms of electric vehicles but uh, right now to sum up uh, I can say the automobile uh, space uh, is, is is standing on a, on a hilltop and they want to take a giant leap to another hilltop so this is the entire five-year journey I can sum up that there are a lot of changes there are a lot of supply chain issues which will come there are a lot of geopolitical changes which are going to happen which uh, which which relates to the US presidential elections the Indian elections which recently happened but yes the common sentiment is 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 pretty pretty huge in terms of automobile and we will grow and then uh, customers are also uh, and consumers are also aware of electric vehicles and the future technology at automobile so they are also uh, a positive uh, uh, in terms of uh, the industry growth so we are seeing a very well growth and in India there's a loose huge opportunity in terms of owning a car the sentiments has become uh, 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 pretty high in terms of owning a car at a early age and that's how as a bmw we are eyeing to catch the catch them young uh, at uh, 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 an age of early 30s or late 20s so that exit barrier becomes into picture that if you're driving a bmw at age of 30 you'll not come out of that so yes as as a, as, a, as a brand we are eyeing we are we are catching catching them young so as per you, uh, basically automotive sector is a booming sector in the next five years. As you worked in various aspects of HR from talent acquisition to employee relations, uh, what area should a student focus to build a well-rounded career around HR? I just shared on my session with you all uh, that uh, whether be it any field, whether be it finance, whether be it marketing, whether be it HR, whether be it operations, uh, one has to understand the business. Okay. okay? And uh, uh, then only your if, if you see your work is impacting to business, then that job satisfaction, then that contribution, what contribution you are making towards that organization growth at large. So understanding the business is, is pretty important, be, be it any field and uh, talking about about HR as a student uh, uh, when they pursue career in HR the focus is is on having a good employee relations and when I say employee relations is a big big term uh, how well your organization policies are making them comfortable how well they are feel safe in terms of their psychological workplace safety uh, we have if the industry has moved from a, a physical safety uh, to a psychological safety so as an HR uh, young lads uh, into the organization you should always focus on the uh, uh, employee well-being rather than uh, focusing on certain aspects if and you should always work uh, towards your policy enhancement in terms of the latest trends latest uh, uh, move more from a trend perspective the what what the young population wants from their from at at spending one third of their day almost eight hours nine hours at office and so what they want from office it should be comfortable it should be a well uh, i'll not say work life balance we should always we should always strive for work life harmony 
so these are the new terms which are coming in hr we have shifted from work life balance to work life harmony how well you are placed at at your office where you can think about your family as well and when you are with family how well you are placed mentally and 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 physically where you can think of work as well so it is a 24 into 7 phenomena there is nothing called work life balance we we work towards work life harmony and uh, the other areas is is obviously skill gaps as an hr we always focus on uh, skill gaps what we want from the uh, young lads after they finish their grads so the academic and industry relations that's i think hr and the responsibility of hr also comes into the picture and the responsibility of the management of uh, uh, colleges uh, and universities comes into the picture that how well this is blending because because in the next 5 years the skill gaps will change so the skill requirements will change so how well the education system is aligning with our strategy with our business growth with our technology what all academic are providing you so this is also i guess the hr responsibility how well we convey the right message to the industry and the students that okay this is the skill gaps right now and how we can work on that and last lastly i would like to conclude with a proper talent management framework in which uh, uh, the the impact and and how we can level up the performance of our people at work so this is our focus and every student should have a proper base understanding of these areas so you believe a student should focus on understanding the business the first of all and secondly he should focus on maintaining a good employee relations and correct thirdly he should fill the skill gap that yes. is missing in yes. most of the students nowadays yes yes uh, when you go for internships in your second year between your first year and second year you will obviously uh, you will be facing a lot of uh, daily situations so you should come back here at college and you should tell to your professors that sir ma'am these are the certain things which we now want to learn at the uh, second year so this is how you also play your part and as an hr uh, obviously uh, 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 i would i would uh, as an hr professional after 10 years i would say that understanding and having business acumen is the key okay so that would lead to my third question that what extra curricular activities or skills a student should possess to develop an excellent his career i again uh, i'll go back to my session which i delivered right now uh, the thinking ability Okay. okay you should always think deep uh, you should not be shallow in your in your work when you when you do a task go into the deep then you have that better understanding that how is it how you can value add in that system so thinking ability is is one of the key skills which i would love to uh, uh, pass on to young lads like you and secondly uh, the uh latest technology which are coming into the uh, uh, world which 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 i can term as industry 4.0 uh, you can uh, uh Uh, I want my young lads when they come into the organization and corporate world, they should be acquainted with the AI, uh, how how uh, uh, blockchain technology and AI technology and 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 certain new uh, uh, analytical tools, digital tools are coming into the picture. So you should be well acquainted with that. We don't want uh, people come as as a as a plain. simple graduate uh, or an mba grad they should have these skills which is related to technology so you want the students to learn and adapt the new upcoming and latest technology yes all right thank you rakshit uh, we are we are pleased to have you here and thank you for sharing your valuable and insightful knowledge with us and experiences with us so our students would be pleased and undoubtedly appreciate your presence here so thank you akshat i'm glad i'm glad to be here uh, uh, akshat and i loved the time spending with you thank you thank you so much thank you.